I'm excited to show you the auto recovery and auto healing features that we've built for UI tests. I showed earlier that we have the ability to create UI tests, but there is a challenge that we see when UI tests are breaking as a part of the application change. Understanding which locators to use or how to fix the test when it breaks is a major challenge, and Parasoft solves this by leveraging AI to analyze the Selenium tests at execution time, looking for issues of stability or maintainability, as well as reducing the total time taken to execute those test scripts by focusing on the ones that may be affected by change. So in this particular case, I'll show you how this works with an application that already exists. Let's say development has released a new version of the application, and they indicate that there are some minor changes. I need to run my regression tests against the new version to make sure it's fine. I'm gonna run it with self-healing turned on so that if there are any problems that are encountered, we can automatically recover it. To do this, I have made a one-line change to my Selenium execution here using Parasoft's Selenic plugin. So during runtime, it's going to use AI to not only determine a locator to heal the test once it fails, but automatically try those fixes. So I'm gonna run this. And what we're gonna see is that this test executes two different parts of my UI. So here comes the first piece. This test will be successful. And now it's going to run the second test. And here it encounters something that's changed. But instead of breaking the build, now we see that self-healing is trying to find another locator in order to successfully move forward. Oh, look. And now it found it. And so now what it's going to do is analyze the execution to help me understand what occurred. So let's look at this report. This report just fired off and tells me that none of my tests failed, but one of my tests healed. And it healed a locator. So what does that mean? Well, it says that it was unable to click on something called phone number in the bill pay page. And if I go and look at the screenshot, it indicates to me that this is where it broke down. Now back in the report, I can dig down a little deeper and it will help me understand how it used the AI to generate a new locator and to try that at runtime. So here we see that it could not click on payee phone number and it suggested this new locator that had a 96% confidence factor. It generated this locator based on history, looking at previous executions, as well as some factors that allowed me to adjust the weight of different locators. It tried it and was successful. It also gives us some information about the stack trace and other details that a developer could use to help debug the information but we didn't lose any time during the nightly execution because we self-healed. Now, all of this information can be delivered back to the developer's IDE. So let me launch that. Here we are back in the IDE, and I have the ability to import those recommendations right here. From this point, I can go forward and update the test. I can then use those recommendations to quick fix my tests, and any additional information can be delivered back to the AI analysis engine to complete a full circle.